Anyone who's ever had an asthma attack knows it is a frightening feeling. Your chest suddenly starts to tighten and you just can't get enough oxygen. It's a condition that affects millions of children and adults, but a revolutionary new medical technology could help many of us breathe easier. Here to tell us about it is allergist Dr. Neil Jane from Madison, Wisconsin, and Nancy Sanders, president of Mothers of Asthmatics. Thank you both for being here. Good morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Doctor, tell us about asthma and how it affects the body. Sure. So asthma is a common chronic problem that's caused by inflammation inside the lungs. That inflammation leads to swelling inside the tubes that carry air to our lungs, as well as mucus production and tightness of the muscles that surround those tubes. Ultimately, all of those things, that inflammation, results in the symptoms we see, cough, wheeze, shortness of breath. I see ads on TV all the time advertising prescription drugs that should help uh, with asthma. How do they work? Most of the medicines that you see advertised on TV are what we call controller medicines. They work by reducing the inflammation and most commonly they contain a medicine called an inhaled steroid. These medicines are really meant to be used on a daily basis to control and reduce that inflammation. Ultimately, we'd like to be able to measure that inflammation so that we know which patients need those medications and which patients don't need those medications. And Nancy, you founded this great organization. You're a mother of four, and three of your children suffer from asthma, so this is something you know all too well. What's the message you want your organization to get out? I founded Mothers of Asthmatics to help families understand that asthma can be very well controlled and how to do it. You know, there's 22 million families or 22 million people who have asthma. Six million of those are children. And you know, asthma is serious and most people don't really realize that 11 people die of asthma every single day and most of these are needless deaths. So we're here to help families understand what their options are and how to use them in their daily lives. All right, doctor, you mentioned options. I understand there's a revolutionary new technology that's available right now that can help doctors treat this uh, disease. This new technology um, called the NIAX Mino measures that inflammation inside the lungs and allows doctors to specifically look and, and determine whether patients need the medications, whether they need more medicine, less medicine, and in some cases it actually allows us to take patients who have been treated and may have had asthma off their medicines. That's great, show us how it works. What we will have a patient do is they'll come into the office, and they blow out all of their air, they take a deep breath in, they blow out slowly and steadily for about 10 seconds, and then the machine does the rest of the work, it gives us a number, and we know whether there's a lot of inflammation or a little bit of inflammation. Simple, very user-friendly. We saw a seven-year-old boy using it. He does not seem afraid of the, of the device whatsoever. No, not at all. You know, a lot of kids find it to be like a video game. They think it's a lot of fun and, and easy to perform. Nancy, if this technology would have been out years ago, how much easier would your life have been? If this technology had been available, that would have made our lives more strategic, more specific. You know, there is no one medication that is going to cure or control asthma. It is using technology, using the information that is available about these medications strategically. Now we have a way of doing that. So where can we go for more information, Nancy? Well, go to breatherville.org to learn more about our organization, but go to nioxmino.com to learn more about the device. Nancy, doctor, thank you so much. And thank you for bringing us this revolutionary new technology that I'm sure is going to help out so many people. Well, thank you so much for having us. Thank you for being here.